the day that we met an elephant. <laughs> Oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Elephant? I feel wonderful, Henry. It's another lovely sunny day in the safari park. Oh, and you're in luck. We're just about to go to the family photo album. Oh, Dad, we did that yesterday. And the day before. Listen to your father now, children. You know how he loves his family photo album. This is us in New York. This is my auntie in Lanzarote. Oh, and this is my great-grandfather in Timbuktu. And who's this hairy-looking elephant over here? Oh, that, that's not a hairy elephant, Henry. That, that's a cave painting of my great, 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 great grandmother. She was a woolly mammoth and lived during the Ice Age. The Ice Age? What's that, elephant? The Ice Age was a period in Earth's history when the climate was much, much colder. So cold, in fact, that many of the continents were covered in polar ice. These were huge ice sheets that spread out from the North and South Poles. Wow, that's amazing, elephant. It must have been pretty chilly. Oh, it sure was, Henry. That's why woolly mammoths were so woolly. Oh, I'd so love to meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Why can't you, elephant? Oh, Henry, the Ice Age ended over 10,000 years ago. I'd have to travel back in time to do that. That gives me a great idea, Elephant. I could become a prehistoric caveman and we could travel back to the Ice Age and meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth together. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. Hello, Cave. Hello, Henry. How can I help you today? We're looking for Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She, she wears gr green glasses, a lovely purple hat, and pink fluffy slippers. I've seen a glyptodon in mittens, a saber-toothed tiger wearing a bobble hat, and a parasitherium with a frilly scarf, but I haven't seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth, I'm afraid. But I'm sure if you pop outside the cave, you'll find her in no time. Will do, cave paintings. Will do. Oh, no, Henry. This place is so big. It's going to take us all day to find Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Well, better get started then. Let's go! Hello, Glyptodon. Have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth around here today? She's wearing green glasses. I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been too busy sledging. Excuse me, Saber Two Tiger. Uh, have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth? She's wearing a purple hat. I haven't, I'm afraid, Elephant. I've been too busy practicing my ice sculpting. Ta da! Oh. Hello, Parasitherium. I don't suppose you've seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She has pink fluffy slippers. I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy building a snowman. There, all done. Oh dear, Henry. We've looked everywhere and we still haven't found Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Don't give up yet, Elephant. If we keep on looking, we're bound to find her. All I can see is ice, snow, woolly mammoth tracks, snow. Did you just say woolly mammoth tracks? <laughs> so I did, Henry. Come on, elephant. Let's go. Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Uh, um, you, you don't know me, but you're my very, very distant relative. Oh, how delightful. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, we're going to have so much to talk about. Grandma Woolly Mammoth, where are you going? Oh, no. The ice is broken off and I'm drifting away. Grandma Woolly Mammoth is floating out into the open waters. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Elephant. I think I have an idea. Ready, steady, go! Oh, we did it, Henry. We travelled back to the Ice Age, found Grandma Woolly Mammoth and saved her from drifting off in the ice. Now there's only one thing left to do. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese. my mum calling me Elephant. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finally meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, bye bye, Henry. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... <laughs>
Broccoli. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Broccoli? Can't complain, Henry. Can't complain. By the way, can I interest you in any lovely, healthy fruit and veg today? Oh, yes, please, Broccoli. I love fruit and vegetables. I even have an apple tree in my back garden. An apple tree sounds lovely, Henry. Just like these two lovely raisins. Don't eat them all at once. Hello, Henry. Here we have half a pound of strawberries, twice the taste, half the price. Hello, Henry. And last but not least, we have a bunch of grapes. They were so delicious. Someone's already eaten most of them. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. Any of those tickle your fancy then, Henry? <laughs> they look lovely, but... Mm, where's the rest of the fruit and veg? Oh, sorry if the shelves look a little empty, Henry. I'm just waiting for a fresh delivery. Fresh delivery for the green grocer? Anyone seen the green grocer around? Oh, I'm sorry, delivery trolley. The green grocer is out for lunch, but I can take the delivery for you. Thank you kindly. I'll just pop this box down here, shall I? Thanks, delivery trolley. Oh, and I've popped the rest of them around the back. OK. Anyway, moustache. Bye-bye. The rest of them? Oh, no, Henry. I'll never be able to sort through all these boxes on my own. If only there was another green grocer around to help. That gives me a great idea, Broccoli. I could become a greengrocer and we can sort all the fruit and veg and restock the shelves together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Broccoli, with all this delicious, healthy, fresh fruit and veg everywhere, it's really important we don't drop any, we don't squash any and we definitely don't squeeze any. Right you are, Henry. OK, Broccoli, let's go! Hello, Juicy Melons. Hello, Henry. Hello, Sack of Potatoes. Hello, Henry. Hello, lovely bunch of coconuts. Hello, Henry. <laughs> you did a great job, Henry. The shelves are full of delicious fruit and veg. Thanks, Broccoli. But we're not finished yet. We should probably do a roll call to make sure we have everything before the shop opens. Good thinking, Henry. OK, first up, bananas. Here. Cabbages. Here. Pineapples. Here. Carrots. Here. Avocados. Here. Tomatoes, pears and grapes. Here. And last but not least, apples. Mm, apples? Oh, no, Henry. There must have been a mistake with the delivery. There's no apples. What are we going to do? Hmm. Don't worry, Broccoli. I think I have an idea. What are we doing in your back garden, Henry? Remember I said I had an apple tree? Oh, yes, of course. Good thinking, Henry. But the tree's so tall, how are we going to get the apples down? Leave it to me, Broccoli. Excuse me, apple tree. Would you mind if we had some of your apples, please? Oh, of course not, Henry. Be my guest. Just have to have a little shimmy shake. Whee! Watch out below! <laughs> Thanks, Apple Tree. You're welcome, Henry. Well done, Henry. You did it. You collected the apples, and now the shop is fully stocked and ready to go. No problem, Broccoli. All in a day's work for Henry the Greengrocer. The day Henry met Broccoli, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met Broccoli, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Broccoli. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me get the shelves stocked full of lovely fruit and vegetables. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A cauldron. Cauldron. 
Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cauldron? I feel spooktacular, Henry, because today is my favorite day of the year. It's Halloween! Ha, 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 ha! I love Halloween too, Cauldron. My favorite part is putting up all the spooky decorations. Hello, spooky decorations! Hello, Henry! Ah, ah, ah! That's wonderful, Henry. And are you all set for some trick-or-treating tonight? I certainly am, Cauldron. I love trick-or-treating. Oh, that reminds me. I have some sweeties here for you. Whee! Thank you, Henry. It must be great being a cauldron on Halloween. It is, Henry, but instead of being used for sweets just once, I'd love to be a real cauldron and cook up a fantastic magical spell. Well, why don't you give it a try? It is Halloween after all. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but only a wizard would know how to cook up a fantastic magical spell. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Cauldron. I could become a wizard and we can cook up a magical spell together. That's a wonderful idea, Henry. OK, Cauldron, if we're going to cook up a spell, first we need to read the spell book. Spell book at your service. Hello, spell book. Cauldron and I are trying to cook up our very first spell today. Can you help us, please? Oh, of course I can, Henry. Oh, what sort of spell would you like? I've got the floating spell, the invisibility spell, the shrinking spell. Well, I love parties. And I love Halloween. So how about a Halloween party spell? <gasps> what is it, spell book? Oh, the Halloween spell is the most difficult spell of all. It is? Oh, yes, Henry. To cast the spell, you'll have to capture the foul smell of a witch's burp. Collect the sweaty sock from the paws of a werewolf and unscrew a bolt from the neck of Frankenstein's monster. Don't worry, Spellbook. I'm sure we can do it if we work together. Come on, everyone. Let's go! Hello, witch. Would you mind if we collected one of your burps? Of course not, Henry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Werewolf. Do you have a spare sock we could borrow? Oh, I certainly do, Henry. Hello, Frankenstein's monster. Would you mind if we borrowed a ball from your neck, please? Uh, of course not, Henry. Help yourself, dear boy. Great job, Henry. We collected all the items on the list. We should have that spell mixed up in no time. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it a try. Ready whenever you are, Henry. OK, Cauldron. Witch's burp and werewolf sauce. Add Frankenstein's monster bolt for a party that rocks. Hmm. Halloween parties aren't quite what they used to be. Are they, Henry? I don't think the spell worked, Cauldron. Spellbook, are you sure that was everything? Oh, let me check. Oh, silly me, I forgot to check the last page. It says we need a wizard's hat. A wizard's hat? Where would we find one of those? Why don't you check on your head, Henry? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it another go. Burp, bolt, sock and hat. Make a party appear. Just like that. Well done, Henry. You did it. Thanks, Cauldron. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh -huh. Yay! Uh -huh. The day Henry met a cauldron, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a cauldron, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cauldron. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me cook up my first spell. You're welcome. Happy Halloween. Bye, Henry. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. An apple. <laughs> Apple. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Apple? I'm a little bit nervous, Henry. 
but I'm really excited at the same time. It's my first day as a teacher's assistant and I want to look my best. Would you mind giving me a quick polish, please? Of course not, Apple. <laughs> there you go. Lovely and shiny. Ah, much better. Thanks, Henry. Are you all set for your first day of school? I think so, Apple. Let me see. I have my pencil case, my reading book, and my packed lunch. Hello, Apple! Hello, everyone. Looks like you have everything you need, Henry. Now, all we need to do is wait for the teacher to arrive. OK, everyone, quieten down, please. It's time to start the lesson. Mm, Apple, if the lesson is about to start, shouldn't the teacher be here by now? You're right, Henry. I wonder where they are. Ding, ding, ding. Apple, Apple, I have some terrible news. The teacher isn't feeling well and won't be coming into school today. Oh, no, Henry. That's terrible news. The whole class is here, but there's no one to teach them. Oh, if only there is another teacher around to help. That gives me a great idea, Apple. I could become a teacher and we could teach the class together. That's a great idea, Mr. Henry. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Henry, and I will be your teacher for today. Good morning, Mr. Henry. We all know the importance of a good education, so I'm sure I can count on your full attention and for you to be on your best behaviour. You're it. <laughs> Quiet, please. Oh, put that down. Don't do that. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Henry. Can I go to the toilet, please? Oh, yes, of course you can, little desk. Phew, teaching a full class is a lot harder than I thought. Keep at it, Mr. Henry. You can do it. You just have to think of something that'll hold their attention. Good thinking, school bell. Quiet now, everyone. Settle down, please. It's time to start the first lesson of the day. You've got their attention now, Mr. Henry. So start teaching. Will do, Apple. Will do. So if I have three oranges and I eat one orange, how many oranges do I have left? Mm, two oranges. Correct. And that's how a tadpole grows legs and turns into a frog. <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Yay! Look, Henry, it's almost home time. And we still have one subject to teach. And we have to tidy up. Don't worry, Apple. I think I have an idea. <whistles> OK, class. Time for your PE lesson. The object of the game is to tidy up the classroom as quickly and safely as possible. Three, two, one, go! Well done, Desk! Thanks, Board Rubber. Good teamwork, everyone. Just one last thing. There. Thanks, Apple. Well done, everyone. You were the best class ever. And you were the best teacher ever, Mr. Henry. Oh, thanks, little desk. OK, everyone, it's home time. my mum calling me Apple. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to teach the class today. You're welcome, Apple. Have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Apple. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush. Hello, Henry. How are you tonight, Toothbrush? I'm great, thanks, Henry. It's almost the end of another gloriously squeaky clean day in the bathroom. Are you here to brush your teeth before bed? 
I am toothbrush. I've eaten all my dinner, tidied my room, put on my pyjamas, and now it's time to clean my teeth. Well, we'd better get started then. Toothpaste, if you would be so kind. There you go, Henry. Thanks, Toothpaste. Whenever we eat or drink, teeny tiny bits get stuck between our teeth. So we have to remember to give them a jolly good scrub. Top and bottom, otherwise you might get a toothache. Will do, Toothbrush. Will do. How's that, Toothbrush? <gasps> oh, looks like one of your baby teeth has fallen out. Is that because I didn't brush them enough? Oh, no, Henry. As you get older, your baby teeth fall out to make room for your adult teeth. So pop me under your pillow, Henry. And if you've been extra good at cleaning your teeth, the tooth fairy will come and leave your shiny coin. Baby tooth, have you not heard? The tooth fairy has eaten too many sweets and has a toothache and won't be collecting any teeth until tomorrow night. Oh, if only there was another tooth fairy around. That gives me a great idea, toothbrush. I could become a tooth fairy and we can take my baby tooth and swap it for a lovely shiny coin. That's a great idea, Henry. Wow, toothbrush, you're so big. It's not me who's big, Henry. It's you that's really, really small. This is so cool. Now, we have to take your baby tooth to the Tooth Kingdom and present it to the Tooth King. If he thinks I'm sparkly and clean enough, He'll reward you with a shiny coin. OK, everyone. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Oh, ahem. Henry, Baby Tooth and I can't fly. Oh, of course. Sorry, Toothbrush. There you go. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Good luck, everyone. Here we are, Henry. Tooth Kingdom. Wow, this place is huge. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the Tooth King? I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Okay, you two. Let's go. Hello, sweet tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, gold tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, Wisdom Tooth. Oh, hello, Henry. Here we are, Henry, the Tooth Castle. Wow, it's amazing, Toothbrush. Let's head inside and meet the Tooth King. Hello, Tooth King. Ah, oh, hello, Henry, my dear boy. Welcome to my humble abode. I trust you had a pleasant trip through my Tooth Kingdom. We did, Tooth King. I never knew there were so many different teeth. Oh, that reminds me. We've brought you a present. A tooth? Oh, how splendid. Let's pop it on the clinometer and see how it measures up. Well, tickle my molars, Henry. That's the cleanest, whitest, sparkliest baby tooth I've ever seen. You deserve an extra special shiny coin for all your excellent brushing. Thanks, Tooth King. Now run along, baby tooth. <laughs> Did it, Henry. Well done. Thanks, Toothbrush. And thank you for helping me keep my teeth nice and clean every single day. The day Henry met a toothbrush, he laughed a lot. Calling me toothbrush. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for the adventure. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met a rainbow. Today, Rainbow. I feel wonderful, Henry. I just love brightening up the sky and adding a splash of colour to everyone's day. Rainbow, where did you come from? You weren't here a moment ago. 
Are you magic? Oh, oh, no, I'm not magic, Henry. Sometimes when it rains and the sun shines through the raindrops at just the right time, a rainbow like me appears. Wow, that's amazing, Rainbow. And you're so colourful. My favourite colour is orange. Oh, orange. I love orange. Such a lovely warm colour. Oh, but I must admit, I am partial to a bit of green. Oh, and I quite like red as well. And yellow. And violet. And blue. Oh, and don't forget indigo, of course. In fact, you could say I love all the colours of the rainbow. Me too, Rainbow. But if you're not magic, does that mean there isn't a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow? Oh, I don't know, Henry. I'd love to find out, but only a leprechaun would know how to find a pot of gold. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea. I could become a leprechaun. And I can find the pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. OK, Rainbow, it looks like the pot of gold could be over there. Well spotted, Henry, dear. Oh, but it looks so far. Maybe I could ask that unicorn for help. Oh, good thinking, Henry. Hello, unicorn. How you doing, Henry? I'm doing great, thanks, unicorn. I was just wondering if you could give me a lift through the forest to the end of the rainbow. Through the magical fairy tale forest? It would be my pleasure. Hop on, kid. Oh, good luck, Henry. And remember, safety first. Don't worry, Rainbow. I have my helmet right here. Bada bing, bada boop. Next up, the end of the rainbow. Hello, troll. Hello, Henry. Hello, gingerbread man. Hello, Henry. Hello, three little piggies. Hello, Henry. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Oh, don't give up, Henry, my dear. You've come so far. Maybe I can help. Oh, hello, little bean. You see, I'm a special type of bean, Henry. Are you a baked bean? Are you a runner bean? Are you a marvellous Mexican jumping bean? Even better than all those, Henry. I'm a magic bean. And if you plant me in the ground, you'll get to see what makes me so magical! Oh! Up, up and away! Whoa, that is one tall beanstalk, Henry. If I climb to the top, I think I'll be able to see the end of the rainbow and maybe even the pot of gold. Oh, be extra careful while you're climbing, Henry. Will do, Rainbow. Will do. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Unicorn. Top of the beanstalk. Here I come. Here I am, Rainbow, at the top of the beanstalk. Oh, and look, I can see the pot of gold. Hi, Henry. Hello, pot of gold. Oh, well done, Henry. Oh, but how are you ever going to get all the way down there? That's where you come in, Rainbow. Ready or not? Here I come! Whee! Well done, Henry! You did it! Oh, you found a pot of gold! Thanks, Rainbow! Now who wants some chocolate coins? Yay! The day Henry met a rainbow He laughed along with everyone The day Henry met a rainbow He made lots of friends and had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me, Rainbow. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry, dear. And thanks for sharing your chocolate coins with everyone. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Oh, bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A violin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, violin. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Violin? I'm so excited! It's the opening night of our big concert show, Henry! The fabulous orchestra and I will be playing the most beautiful classical music ever! That sounds amazing, Violin! But what are you doing out here in the foyer? Shouldn't you be getting ready to perform? 
Well, you see, Henry, I'm out here waiting for the conductor to arrive. The conductor has a very important job, Henry. He helps with the overall performance and keeps all the different instruments in time. So the drums now went to drum and the trumpets now went to trump. Wow, that sounds like a tough job, Violin. But don't worry, I'm sure he'll be here in no time. Violin, Violin. Hello, Bo. What's the matter? It's the conductor. It's so windy outside, a three-piece suit has blown off the washing line. He's stuck at home in his underpants. What are we going to do now? Oh, no. This is a disaster. If only there was another conductor around to help. That gives me a great idea, Violin. I could become a conductor, and I could conduct the orchestra, and we could put on the concert together. That's a great idea, Henry. I didn't realise there were so many different instruments in an orchestra. It may look like a lot, but all the instruments are separated into four different groups, or as we like to call them, sections. Can you introduce me to all of your friends then, please? Of course, Henry. First up, we have the brass section. Hi, Henry. I'm trumpet. <laughs> I'm trombone. <laughs> and I'm tuba. <laughs> And here we have the woodwind section. Hi, Henry. I'm clarinet. <laughs> I'm flute. La, 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 la. And I'm bassoon. La, 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 la. Next up is the percussion section. Hello, Henry. I'm xylophone. La, 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 la. I'm kettle drum. Bo, 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 bo. And I'm gong. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the string section. Hi, Henry. I'm double bass. La, 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 la. I'm cello. La, 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 la. And don't forget me. This is where I belong. La, 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 la. Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. OK, violin. Let's get the concert started. Henry, before we start, would you mind closing the window, please? It's awfully windy outside, and we don't want anything to blow away. Will do, violin. Will do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the great pleasure of introducing the exciting first performance of Henry and his super-duper amazing orchestra. Places, please. Does everyone have their sheet music? <laughs> Ready, Henry? Okay, here goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Henry. The wind has blown away all the sheet music. Without it, the instruments won't know what to play. This is a catastrophe. Hmm. Don't worry, Violin. I think I have an idea. Okay, follow my lead, everyone. You first, brass section. Ba da 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 Now woodwind and strings together La 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 Okay now everybody ba, 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 ba. We got a standing ovation. You're welcome, Violin, but I couldn't have done it without your help. OK, everyone, time for an encore. The day Henry met a violin, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a violin, he made us a friend and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Violin. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for performing with us. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, Violin. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a camera. Hello, Henry. How are you today, camera? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love taking photographs. Say cheese. Cheese. Perfect. 
camera, how do we get the photographs from you onto the paper? Years ago, the only way was to get the photographs developed in a dark room with lots of stinky chemicals. But these days, we can print them off on a computer. Follow me and I'll show you how. Hello, computer. Hello, printer. Hello, Henry. Camera? Do you have any of your lovely photographs for me to print today? I certainly do, printer. Well, hop over here, get yourself plugged in, and press print. Printing! <laughs> Thanks, printer! That photograph would look really nice on my wall, Henry. Wow! It looks like you've taken photographs of everything in the entire world. Not quite everything, Henry. I've always wanted to take a photograph of the Loch Ness Monster. But I'm worried I'd be so nervous I wouldn't be able to hold myself steady. Oh, if only there was a photographer around to help. That gives me a great idea, camera. I could become a photographer and we can take a photo of the Loch Ness Monster together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, camera, first things first. Let's find the boat and head out onto the loch. Heading out onto the loch, are you? We certainly are. We're looking for the Loch Ness Monster. I saw a monster once. You did? When was that boat? It was a day much like today. An icy cold mist crawled across the loch, like a big, icy, cold, uh, crawly thing. Completely alone I was, <gasps> sat in the middle of the loch, bobbing up and down. I bobbed up, I bobbed down. And then what happened, boat? And then I bobbed back up again. Then a hideous creature reared up next to me. Oh no! I could smell its foul breath. And then what, Boat? It opened up its cavernous mouth and said... What did it say? It said... Yes? yes. Dinner's ready! The Loch Ness Monster said dinner's ready. The Loch Ness Monster? Oh, sorry, Henry. I was talking about my tugboat over there. He gets awful cranky if I'm late for my dinner. Cooey! Hello, tugboat. I've never actually seen the Loch Ness Monster, I'm afraid, but I'd love to help. That's great news, boat. I'm sure if we all work together, we'll find the Loch Ness Monster in no time. Let's go! <gasps> Look over there, camera. Could it be the Loch Ness Monster? Oh. Oh, maybe that's the Loch Ness Monster over there. Excuse me, mysterious floating log coming through. Oh. Uh, camera, look. That has to be the Loch Ness Monster up there. Sorry, Henry. Just old ruins of a castle, I'm afraid. Oh, dear, Henry. We're never going to find the Loch Ness Monster at this rate. Camera's right, Henry. With all this fog around, we wouldn't know a monster even if we rode straight into it. Loch Ness Monster! Roar! Quick, camera! Now's your chance! I can't, Henry. I'm shaking too much. I'll never be able to take a good picture. Roar! Oh, did you just say you wanted to take my picture? Oh, I so rarely get my photo taken these days. For some reason, everybody seems to run away screaming when I loom up unexpectedly out of the water going, Rawr! In that case, would you mind if camera took your photograph? Oh, that would be lovely, Henry, dear. Just make sure you get my good side, OK? Will do, Loch Ness Monster. Will do. OK, everyone. Say cheese. Cheese. The day. Mum calling me, camera. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me track down the Loch Ness Monster and taking the best picture ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A bear! Oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Bear? I'm great, thank you, Henry, but I'm just so tired. 
Why don't you just put your feet up, close your eyes, and have a lovely little snooze? Oh, I would, Henry, but this park is so noisy. If it's not the woodpecker pecking, <laughs> it's the babbling brook babbling. <laughs> bubble, bubble, bubble. At this rate, I won't be able to hibernate. Hibernate? What does that mean, Bear? Well, Henry, in the winter there isn't much food about, so some animals eat as much as they can and then go to sleep until spring. <coughs> then they wake up when it's warmer and there's more food around, and that's called hibernation. But, Bear, isn't it almost winter? It is, Henry, and I should be getting ready to sleep. Oh, if only there was a park ranger around who could help me find a nice, quiet spot to hibernate for the winter. That gives me a great idea, Bear. I could become a park ranger, and I could help you find a nice, quiet place to hibernate in. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. Okay, Bear, first things first. We need to find somewhere cozy and quiet. Oh, this seems lovely and peaceful, Bear. Why don't you make yourself comfortable inside this tree? Good thinking, Henry. Just close your eyes and relax. There you go. I'm sure nothing will wake you up. Timber! Ah! Oh! Excuse me, coming through. Oh dear, what a racket, Henry. I was falling into a really wonderful sleep. Don't worry, Bear. I'm sure the beavers will be finished soon. Right now, Henry. We're going to be here all winter. We don't hibernate. Oh, no, Henry. Looks like I'll be awake all winter. Don't worry, Bear. I'm sure if we keep looking, we're bound to find the perfect place. Oh, what about this burrow beside this peaceful stream? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no. All the salmon are going upstream. What about under this rocky ledge? La, 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 la. Ah! Oh. Looks like that eagle is practicing her singing. This rock looks lovely and comfy, Bear. Oh! Oh no, Bear. It's a full moon and all the wolves are howling. What are we going to do, Henry? It's getting dark and we still haven't found a place for me to hibernate in. Oh, things just couldn't get any worse. Oh. Quick, Bear. We can shelter from the storm in that cave. Jump, jump, everyone inside. Oh, looks like we're stuck in here until the storm ends, Henry. We're never going to find a place for me to hibernate. Hold on a minute, Bear. I think we've just found the perfect place for you to sleep. This cave. It's warm, it's cozy, and most importantly, it's quiet. You're right, Henry. I'll just get myself settled down here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Henry, I can't sleep. After all the excitement, I'm wide awake. Don't worry, Bear. Whenever I'm wide awake, my dad tells me a bedtime story. Then before I know it, I'm sound asleep. Oh, good thinking, Henry. One day, Henry met a very sleepy bear. They couldn't find anywhere for him to sleep until they found a cozy, warm cave. Then Bear fell into a lovely, deep sleep. The day Henry met a bear, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a bear, he made Lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Bear. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for finding me a place to hibernate. You're welcome, Bear. Have a nice sleep. Night, night, Henry. Night, night, Bear. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Wheelie Bin? Well, I'm great, thanks, Henry. <laughs> is that a bag of rubbish I smell? It is.
is really been open wide. Oh, dum, 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 dum. oh that flavour. It's delicious. I'm getting subtle tones of greasy chicken bone and oh the tiniest hint of mouldy cheese. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Anything else you need to put into the rubbish today then, Henry? I have these twigs, a plastic bottle, and an old newspaper. Well, you can't throw those in here. They can be recycled. Recycled? What does that mean, Wheelie Ben? Recycling is when things like glass, metal and plastic are collected so they can be made into new things and don't end up just being thrown away. Recycling sounds like a good idea. Did someone say recycling? Oh, I love recycling, especially plastic bottles and newspapers. I only eat garden waste, Henry. Things like grass or vegetable peels. So those twigs would go down a treat. Well, in that case, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. OK, Bins. That's all the rubbish and recycling sorted. I'm sure the waste collector will be here any minute. Wheelie bin, wheelie bin. You're never going to believe what's happened. The waste collector has gone on holiday, so it's going to empty all the bins. Oh, what are we going to do, Henry? We can't sit out here in the sun all day. We'll start getting really smelly. Oh, if only there was another waste collector around to help. That gives me a great idea, wheelie bin. I could become a waste collector and I could help collect all the rubbish and recycling. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, when you're collecting rubbish, you need to be very careful. You need your boots, gloves and high visibility jacket. All present and correct, Willy Ben. Now, hop on board. We've got lots of bins to empty. And I need all the help I can get. Fasten your seatbelt and I'll take it from here. Will do, Bin Lurry. Will do. OK, everyone, let's go! Hello, House. Hello, Henry. Hello, Shaw. Hello, Henry. Hello, School. Hello, Henry. OK, Wheelie Bin, only one more house to go. Oh, no, Henry. Look, there's rubbish everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. The wind must have blown over all my bins in the night. Oh, how embarrassing. Don't worry, House. You've got Henry and his waste collecting team at your service. Banana skin, potato peels, apple core. You go in the compost bin. OK, Henry. Tin can, plastic bottles and cardboard box. Recycling bin, please. OK, Henry. Polystyrene, bubble wrap, crisp packets. All in the black bin, please. OK, Henry! There, that's all the rubbish collected and sorted. Well done, everyone. Hold on a moment, Henry. There's still one piece of rubbish left. This old ceramic sink. Oh, hello, sink. Which bin do you fit into? Maybe you should go in the compost bin. Nope, not in here, Henry. What about the recycling bin? No, not in here, I'm afraid, Henry. What about you, wheelie bin? Sorry, not in here either, Henry. Oh, no, it doesn't look like I belong in any of those bins, Henry. I guess I'll just have to stay out here in the garden. Wait a moment, Sink. I think I have an idea. There. All done. You may be an old cracked sink, but you make a perfect planting trough. Oh, thank you, Henry. Oh, well done, Henry. You've collected all the rubbish, sorted all the recycling and even brightened up the house's garden. Thanks, Wheelie Bin. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Yay! The day Henry met a Wheelie Bin, he laughed along with everyone. That's my mum calling me, Wheelie really, Ben. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping collect all the rubbish. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Christmas tree? I'm so excited, Henry. I just love everything about Christmas. 
I know Christmas puddings, Christmas cards, and most of all, Christmas carols. La, 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 la. That was great, everyone. Thanks, everyone. My favourite thing about Christmas is giving my family and friends lots of Christmas presents. Oh, that reminds me, Christmas tree. What would you like for Christmas? Well, there is one thing, Henry. What's that Christmas tree? I've always wanted to be this special Christmas tree in the centre of town. Oh, but nobody would like a tiny tree like me. It doesn't matter how small you are. All that matters is that you have Christmas spirit. And Christmas tree, you have the most Christmas spirit ever. Thanks, Henry. Maybe I could be the tiny Christmas tree. Oh, if only there was a Christmas elf around to help. Everyone knows how good elves are decorating Christmas trees. That gives me a great idea, Christmas tree. I could become a Christmas elf and I could decorate you and get you ready to be the big attraction in the centre of town. That's a great idea. But, um, Henry, where are we? We're in my elf workshop at the North Pole. Brr, it's a bit chilly. I'm going to use all these magical elf gadgets and gizmos to make some super special extra Christmassy decorations. That sounds wonderful, Henry. OK, magical elf gadgets and gizmos, let's go! Hello, candy canes. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, baubles. Hello, Star. Hi, Harry. Now all we have to do is go to the centre of town and decorate you. Oh, how exciting, Henry. But how are we going to get there in time? We're miles away at the North Pole. Don't worry, Christmas tree. Just follow me through this magical elf door. There's no time to waste, Christmas tree. Let's get decorating. Look amazing! All you need to do now is switch on the lights. Will do, Christmas tree. Will do. But wait, Henry. Something's not quite right. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, of course. You don't have a star. In all the excitement, I must have left it at the elf workshop. Oh no, Henry. What are we going to do? You can't have a Christmas tree without something at the top. Don't worry, Christmas tree. I think I have an idea. Hello? Can I speak to Father Christmas, please? <gasps> Everybody look! <laughs> Thanks, Father Christmas. You're welcome, Henry. OK, Henry, time to turn the lights on. <laughs> Three, two, one. How do I look, Henry? You look like the bestest Christmas tree ever! Yay! Oh, thanks, Henry! I finally got my Christmas wish. And it's all thanks to you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Christmas tree! Merry Christmas, everyone! The day Henry met a Christmas tree calling me Christmas tree. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping grant my Christmas wish. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A sponge. <laughs> Hello, Henry. How are you today, Sponge? Oh, I'm great, thanks, Henry. You can't be cleaning windows. I just love soaking up the soapy water. <laughs> Splashing it onto the window and making it all sparkly clean. There, that's your whole house done, Henry. What do you think? 
Wow, they look amazing, Sponge. And now that the whole house is finished, does that mean you and Bucket can take the rest of the day off? Oh, we'd love to, Henry, dear. But we still have a whole street of dirty windows to clean first. Hello, Henry! Hello, houses. That looks like a lot of hard work, Sponge. Can't you come back and do some of them tomorrow? I'm afraid not, Henry, dear. Today is the day of the big street carnival and all the windows must be extra clean so the street looks spick and span. Hey, <laughs> street, street carnival! Oh, I can't wait for the carnival. And it looks like everyone is really excited too. But how can you possibly get all the windows clean in time? Don't worry, Henry. I have a window cleaner coming to help me. In fact, he should be here any moment. Sponge, back in. I have some terrible news. The window cleaner has got stuck up a ladder and he won't be able to make it in time to help clean the windows. Oh, no, Henry. What are we going to do? We'll never be able to get all the windows clean in time. Oh, if only there was another window cleaner around to help. That gives me a great idea, Sponge. I could become a window cleaner and I can help clean all the windows in time for the big street carnival. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Bucket, I'm going to need you first. Ready? Ready, Henry? Next, we need some water. Be my guest, Henry. Thanks, Tap. And last but not least, we need lots of soapy bubbles. Here you are, Henry. Thanks. <laughs> oh, careful now, boys and girls. Buckets right, water squirters. You must be careful when there's water about. You don't want to slip and hurt yourselves. Sorry, Henry. OK, everyone. We're all set. Let's get these windows clean. Hello, living room. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, oven. Oh, hello, Henry, my little butter scone. Hello, king-sized bed. Hello, Henry. There, all done. Wow, they're the cleanest windows I've ever seen. All we have to do now is sit back and enjoy the street carnival. Oh, wait, Henry, dear, you don't want to stand there. There's a big puddle in the road, and if a truck goes by, you might get... splashed. <laughs> oh, dear me, we're covered in mud. How horrible. It's not just us, Bucket. The whole street is covered in mud. <laughs> All that hard work for nothing. What should we do now, Henry? Got you. Hmm, <laughs> don't worry, Sponge. I think I have an idea. OK, everybody ready? Ready. ready. <laughs> Let's get cleaning. Wow, we did it, Henry. All the windows are sparkling clean again. What an amazing job. Well done. Thanks, Sponge. But I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. Now, who wants to watch the carnival? Yay! The day Henry met a sponge, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a sponge, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. It's my mum calling me Sponge. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you and Bucket. The pleasure was all ours, Henry, and thanks for helping us clean all those windows in time for the big street carnival. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. <laughs>